But another one of my favorite songs on that album is uh, Vincent as well. I'm also a very big Vincent Van Gogh fan. And what made you want to write a song about him? Um, the idea that I, after I read a book about his life and uh, it was written by his brother, the idea that I understood what I, I had read and that I thought that it might be an interesting thing to do a portrait type of a song about him. I'm very fearless when it comes to ideas. I don't really care uh, what it is. If I like the idea, I go with it, you know, and, um, and in that case, you know, it's a man singing a song about another man, and it's very um, it was ahead of its time, I suppose, in that sense. And but I didn't flinch from it because I, I I could see his art and I knew him. I knew what he, I knew the sensitivity and the the openness of uh, his feeling. His feelings are right there on the surface, right in your face. Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing subtle about Van Gogh. It's emotion and it's right there and it's energy there and. If you ever see his canvases, there's a ton of paint there. You know, he really layers it on, and it's just, you can see him almost working on it, you know, like Jackson Pollock or one of those guys. And so he just lent himself. Yeah, I guess it's the fact that the emotion really uh, lent him. You couldn't really write a song about, like, Frederick Remington, you know, because he was, yeah. you know, a Western, Western, you know, illustrator, and he did a lot of Western pictures or even some of the other Western illustrators. But Van Gogh just, it was warmth. There was blood in the veins, you know, and it, it's fun trying to, once I figured it out that I wanted to do it, trying to figure out how to capture that rather than, you know, saying some, doing some song that would be, you know, I love you, Vincent. You know, I mean, it was something just wrong. <laughs> You know, you had to, and I figured out using the painting, Starry Night, I just let the painting talk to me. It's almost like he wrote, it's almost like he wrote the song himself because I, I used the painting and let it speak to me. With uh, mental health being talked about so much nowadays, I think that uh, the story of Vincent Van Gogh and uh, can speak to a lot of people nowadays. I heard, once heard somebody say uh, they were looking at a painting of his saying, Vincent with his troubles and me and mine. You know, uh, people that uh, have went through stuff, it's like his paintings will talk to you in a sense. Sometimes I, I especially during the pandemic, there were a bunch of shows that we did and I sang that song and I said, but I, I gave a little talk. I said, I have a, a silly statement that I make. I say suicide is a waste of time. And it is because you make a mistake and throw your life away. And really what we need to do, I think, we need to realize that life is not meant to be comfortable and easy and, and, and happy. Life is a, a difficult struggle and you're going to suffer and get ready to suffer and embrace the suffering and soldier on and you will make it through and it might take a year or two years or three years but you'll be happier at some point and uh, you know mm -hmm. i don't think it's always a great idea to be running to the uh the therapist all the time you figure out what's going on in your life and suffer through it I think you're better for that than always getting a crutch. Yeah, I've always tried to tell people that uh, beauty can come from struggles, and that's one thing that I always think of Vincent. Like, yes, a very troubled man, but so many beautiful works of art that have came out. Exactly, from he did a lot of he did a lot of work while he was suffering. All artists that write songs and paint and and actors and and everybody really. It's not just it's not just us. Everybody suffers. We're lucky because we have an outlet for it. You know, we can act or we can write or we can paint or we can, you know, do something. But most people just sort of suffer. You know, they say people live lives of quiet desperation. And this is true. So I, I, that's the reason why I think that music is something that is a salve. It's a balm. It's a, uh, 
it, it comforts people. Mm-hmm. And so I, I'm so happy to be able to to do that and to have made records that continue to do that. I'm, I'm very happy about that.